comparison and the Strava challenge was a base miles challenge that started in on January 1st and went till January 31st and involved about 40,000 people worldwide. One that grew on me as I as I went, it started off as kind of a joke and when I'd ridden my third century uh, in three days, I, I said, well, let's see what I can do, and so I kept at it. Uh, sometimes a big group, if I didn't know the guys, would get squirrely. Ambulance ahead, guys. Uh, well, it wasn't a race, and it was only a personal competition, but I, I, was, I, I was a podium finisher. I was third. Out of the out of the uh, worldwide group. This day, coming back from there, where the wind switched around, came in my face the whole way back, and that wasn't bad enough. It started to rain. But I think that there was a big advantage to Florida weather-wise, as there was to Australia weather-wise. Uh, although the winter was from Guadalupe and had some uh, torrential rains to deal with, as well as some pretty severe mountainous uh, terrain that he rode. All right, tell us the story. Oh. Uh, I think it was around January 23rd, and I was uh, coming out for my ride. I didn't coordinate with anyone. I just happened to be entering the trail that there at Laurel exactly when Jack was crossing the street. So I started riding with him. I said, well, you know, I'll help you out. I'll ride with you for the, keep you company for a couple hours. I rode 40 miles. It was, it was a little bit windy that day. It wasn't too bad. I went home feeling, you know, pretty, pretty beat, pretty satisfied. At dinner time, I checked the update. Jack rode an additional hundred miles that day. Wow! <laughs> I think that the community really supports cycling um, in a way that uh, I'm unfamiliar with, even though Massachusetts is pretty yes. good. You might have a whole leg where you're into the wind, but then you got that whole leg to recover. And there were some times that I had a recovery segment where I was traveling at 22 miles an hour, but I was still able to rest for that. The wind was so strong. So I uh, didn't pay too much attention to my speed because speed wasn't part of the, it was all about mine. I see that uh, you have a real bikes jersey on. Do you ride with real bikes? I do on Saturdays, the real bike ride, and they are my go-to support crowd. Faster than I did. But what was really weird, and I, I was a little concerned about it for a while, was my heart rate went all of a sudden down um, after maybe a week of doing it. That's actually, that's actually average, a normal thing to happen. I'd average 106. I noticed, I noticed that when I saw your Garmin. Yeah, it was I like, you're not even actually biking anymore. Yeah, I know. It's like, yeah. he's not even trying. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> right. And then we're going to do the uh, Lakewood Ranch Tour de Cure. Seven and eight. God, Florida, perfect weather. And it was really perfect weather for most of the time. But there were some moments that were uh, less than optimal. And then the second time I went down there, it was it was almost a joke. The the weather, the wind was so bad up here. I just couldn't imagine doing the laps down on Honore. So I drove down to Fort Myers, got on my bike, and headed north. Is that your longest ride, Jack? The 161 miles? Nope. I had. Uh, Saturday before that, I rode 175. Oh, right. And I understand that uh, on Saturday we're going to have a little party for you. There, there is a, a party planned by David Marquette and uh, the crowd at Real Bikes. Looking forward to seeing a lot of my biking buddies and saying thank you to them for all their support during this past month. And what day is there? What time is that going to be? In May? It's from 5 to 7 on Saturday. Seriously. <laughs> what you touch your name? Greg Peacock. Thanks, Greg. Coming around you. Yeah. 
So, uh, you got the handheld today, huh? Yeah, I wanted to get some tight shots. And it's got the wind mic on it now, so we should be able to hear what we're saying today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, just by the way, this is as far as I usually ride, but because Jack's going so far, I'm going to keep going. And I got it. <laughs> 